Good morning, Pershaw Abbey community. I hope everybody is doing well. There are lots of different reasons why people might choose to come into a church. We get lots of visitors in all, all our churches, and, and it might be to do with coming to look at the history and the architecture. We're very blessed with beautiful buildings. But it might be because so many of us just crave a quiet place, somewhere where we can just sit and be and perhaps think about what's going on in our lives, in the lives of our community, in the lives of our country and world. And at the current time, there is so much to be thinking about, isn't there? The news is always full of stories that make us want to stop and think. And I know that for many people, being able to come into a church and be quiet is important because it leads on to being able to say a prayer or, or leave a prayer. And I've been really struck in the last week or so that despite all the um, disruption at the Abbey as we install our new pipe organ, that, that people have still come into the Abbey to light a candle, to write out a prayer. And that feels like a really important thing that we are sharing. Prayer means different things to different people. Sometimes people are really happy knowing what they're saying. That's sort of like that conversation with God as they light their candle or perhaps write down some words. But they know exactly what's, what's on their heart and on their mind. And we give thanks for that. But once a year, we enable people wherever they are to be able to share their prayers with us out and about in in town in Pershaw. Next Wednesday is Ash Wednesday and for many years now um, as churches together in Pershaw we've shared in a project called Pray One For Me. You might have encountered us on um, previous Ash Wednesdays and all we do between 11 o'clock and 12 noon on Ash Wednesday is just be around town and we stop people and we say, would you like us to write down your prayer request? So we have these little cards and um, you don't have to say anything about the situation, don't have to have the words of a prayer ready and written out. Um, so an example would be this year, I'm, I'm quite expecting when I stop somebody in town and say, it's Ash Wednesday, we're doing Pray One For Me, would you like us to write down a prayer request? I think lots of people are going to talk about Turkey and Syria and the devastating earthquake there. And we go around for an hour just collecting people's prayers and then we offer them in the service on Ash Wednesday in the Abbey, just silently offer them knowing that, that God knows all our thoughts and prayers and that hopefully that brings comfort to all of us um, when we're experiencing challenging and difficult times, but when we want to share times of great joy as well. So next Wednesday, if you see um, myself or any of my um, ecumenical colleagues out and around clutching these little cards, be great to hear from you, to see what prayers you wanted to offer. But even if we don't see you and you perhaps don't feel able to share a prayer, we give thanks today that God knows all our thoughts and God hears and knows all of our prayers before we say them or before we even write them down. And our prayer today is one that we do often share when we're out and about doing Pray One For Me. Lord, be a bright flame before me. Be a guiding star above me. Be a smooth path below me. Be a kindly shepherd behind me. Today and forevermore. Amen. So it's great to be here in Persia on this Ash Wednesday to be able to offer prayers for people in this Pray One For Me. And I'm joined by a wonderful band of people here in the sun, sun shining upon the righteous, and we're off out into the streets of Pershaw.